going to talk about IT concerns in healthcare versus traditional IT and how they might be different, particularly in terms of privacy comes to mind and portability and what have you. We will talk about PHI, personal health information. Then we have different types of health records themselves, which we'll detail, and electronic medical records versus or electronic health records. And of course, the overriding principles here of HIPAA will come to mind and will come to bear. We'll talk about specialized hardware. Within IT or healthcare IT, we have standard, for the most part, computers and servers and so forth, but we also have very much non-standard elements, such as EKG machines and uh, monitoring equipment and so forth, that you're just not going to see in a standard office environment or even perhaps a manufacturing environment. Similarly, we will have specialized software and specialized working environments. Not many of us go to work uh, in a factory and have to go into a clean room, though there are some. Not many of us go into a standard office environment and have to go into a clean room and scrub down before we're allowed to uh, enter our workplace. We have government and other regulation in a healthcare environment that you may not be accustomed to in a non-healthcare environment, or you may have to react to in a healthcare environment. And we have the needs of providers, patients, and families for privacy, respect, and confidence. And everybody deserves those elements. That would be privacy, respect, and confidence. Everybody expects those elements. And you are required to respect them at all times. That is, uh, don't talk out of school. Uh, information you hear or overhear uh, is not public information. And you must respect that at all times. We're looking at private or personal health information, protected health information, PHI. It comes in many different flavors, such as your blood pressure, your date of birth, your social security number, your insurance information, and so forth, is all considered personal health information. Information that's not considered PHI? Well, things like employment records and Educational Family Rights and Privacy Act records. These things are not considered to be private. They are part of the public domain. But many of the other elements that you, that you deal with, demographic information, the uh, diagnoses, test and lab and other work orders, test and lab results, all of these things are private information that you will have access to in the line of work or you will see, perhaps, or be exposed to. Who's involved in all of this? We will have individual whose uh, information is in question, maybe the patient, the payer, the office, IT billing and professional staff, the healthcare providers, health plans, insurance companies, and so on, will all be privy to this information or maybe or may want to be. You have to be able to discern who does have access to it and who does not. We have various types of health records. They include public health records. These things are like, um, oh, I don't know, public health organizations have the authority to obtain and use PHI. Doesn't mean they can disclose it, but that does mean it's yours is not entirely private. We do have private health records, of course. Those are yours. Uh, are those that are not for public consumption. And we have legal health records. Legal health record is a documentation that is that a healthcare organization would provide if an official record was requested. Once again, the government has exercised authority over much of our healthcare data and for the better good. And we have to expect that it could go to uh, elements within the government as well as say our insurance carriers and ourselves. We have to be aware of which is which. Electronic medical records and electronic health records might include uh, an electronic medical record would be an individual's records, lab test results, patient records, x-ray, what have you. The electronic health record, EHR, is going to be the collection of all of the various 
EMR, electronic health records and electronic medical records or a collection of electronic health records. So make sure, again, you understand the distinction between these two of an electronic medical record, a patient record, lab test results, etc., versus an electronic health record, which is a broader collection of multiple data points, probably not individually identifiable, but an aggregate picture. Overriding so much of this is HIPAA, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Goes back to 1996, it has two primary components, or two major components, that is the privacy rule, those are, I should say, the privacy rule, and the security rule, and you need to be prepared to deal with each of them. The privacy rule and the security rule establish a framework for the use, protection, security, and maintenance of PHI, 